so I was supposed to start driving across America today, but unfortunately I had a package in the mail that got delayed, so I won't be able to leave until tomorrow morning now. So I figured a really great way to spend my last day with my family before I move 2,358 miles away would be to surprise them with a family movie night on the side of the van, which is very van life core. And that is also where this comes in. This is the JMGO portable projector. It has 1080p FHD quality and 800 lumens. It can cast up to 150 inches for thousands of dollars less than a 150 inch TV. Plus it's small and portable and only weighs 4.2 pounds, meaning I can watch movies in or out of my van. Plus with the gimbal feature, you can rotate the screen 127 degrees so you can watch on your ceiling, on the wall, on the floor, wherever you're in the mood for with ease. It's also a tricolor laser, which means it has superior quality to LED projectors and are said to be the future of great performance in projectors. As someone who has owned countless projectors over the last 10 years and has used them for even business purposes, I have seen a lot of projectors and a lot of different prices and I am super excited to test this one out and see if it's worth the price tag. One of the major sellers to me that is an upgrade from any projector I've already owned is the auto image correction, which means it will auto focus and auto keystone giving you a perfect image every single time without you having to spend lots of time fumbling with and never getting it quite right. I am so tired of having that fuzzy image I can just never nail. Another upgrade here for me is the universal connectivity. With so many options on how to connect Wi-Fi, USB, Bluetooth, ACIN, and HDMI. Plus, Google Play is built in, so you have over 5,000 apps you can use directly on the projector. I will say one thing I wish it did have was a built-in battery. As a van lifer, I love being able to charge things when I have extra battery, so that if I want to watch a movie on a night when the battery system is low, I'm already prepared and ready to go. Another major upgrade I immediately noticed was that this projector has immersive audio experience powered by Dolby Audio and subwoofer speakers, offering premium 360-degree stereo sound systems, taking a movie experience to the next level. Unfortunately, at this point, is actually when things go downhill. I realized my package did not include a controller, and it does not take me long to realize that this movie night is actually at serious risk. We then try using a fire stick, but what ends up happening is the fire stick is actually too heavy, and it weighs the projector down, and the gimbal won't stay on the van. I honestly started to feel a bit discouraged because this is my last day before moving across the country and this was a now or never kind of moment. But after some reflection, I actually think this is exactly what a real, true, good, honest review video needs. Things to go wrong. You don't need me to make fancy bougie shots with a professional camera and take 20 angles. What we really need to know is what happens if things go wrong or you need to contact customer service and that is exactly what we get to test out today. So for movie night tonight, we used my old projector. So here are some iPhone shots of our saved movie night. I immediately contacted customer service. And since this projector is from Amazon, we had a new one so fast with free two day shipping and each come with a 30 day money back guarantee. So we are able to get a replacement, no questions asked. However, they do also have lifetime customer support, which actually walked me through how to use the app, how to tighten the gimbal and how to fix all of the issues I was having. So while I did very quickly get a replacement, I wasn't actually able to try it out for quite a while because I did move all the way across the country. However, now we do have a controller, our gimbal is tightened, and we are ready to go for our movie night round two. There's no batteries. Please tell me it came with batteries. <laughs> Luckily, this gas station had two AAA batteries and I also was able to fill up my tank and unfortunately had to watch my least favorite screen of all. But alas, we prevailed and so on Christmas we were able to have a very special movie night. I got everything set up again which luckily only takes a few moments. It's very plug and play. I connected the projector to my phone's hotspot and we had a multitude of options to choose from. So first I wanted to give you some youtube sections so you could watch YouTube on YouTube. But finally we settled on the Eras Tour. Look how crisp these letters are on the screen, it is so crazy. It's so amazing how clean this image is. The autofocus is extraordinary compared to all my previous projectors where I was constantly trying to have to get it right. But now it's just automatically giving me movie quality. The projector pulls 56 watts, so even with only 20% battery, I can watch for almost three hours. And here's a little clip of the Dolby speakers audio. A little adventure together, and that adventure is gonna span 
17 years of music. How does that sound? How does that sound? <laughs> it was like having my own private movie theater right here on the beach. I even could connect my headphones if I wanted to make sure I wasn't disturbing anybody, but it's Christmas, so there's literally no one here on the island. And the image gets so big, I'm pretty sure people on the other side of the island could have been watching with me. Like, this is the size of my vehicle, my whole house, and the image is still that crystal clear. Finally, as it began to get late, I did want to bring it into my van, but as many of you know, my van is currently not built out yet, so I had to use a makeshift blanket on the wall, and even still, the image was really great. And I can't wait to finish the van build and see how this looks on the finished wall. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this review helpful.